Also this morning, Governor Snyder and several other key figures set to testify before Congress this week to answer questions about the Flint water crisis. And later today, a bill will be introduced to allow the president to respond faster to contaminated drinking water in other local communities. The bill is said to be inspired by the crisis happening here in Flint. Also today, another challenge to Michigan's emergency manager law because of its link to the crisis. That comes as Flint's former EM Darnell Early also prepares to testify this week. Local 4's Nick Monticelli is live following all of these developments. And Nick, we're hearing we're going to hear from Early first before Congress. That is the plan, Lauren. Good morning. In fact, even though he didn't want to, subpoenas were issued to have Early come to D.C. He said no, and essentially the chairman said this is not optional. Now, the chairman and other members of Congress were actually in Flint over the weekend touring the area, talking to residents and looking at the Flint water plant, trying to get a better idea of what's going on. And at the end of it, they still didn't have a clear picture, but they did know they have to find who is responsible. Next month. But it's that last 100 feet or so that's going to be problematic, right? Touring a portion of Flint's water plant, a congressional delegation tried to better grasp the depth of the problems in Flint and how far away a permanent fix is. But equally important, they discussed how we got to this point and who's at fault. Uh, there's plenty of fault to go around, um, but we want to hold people accountable. It's not good enough to just say, oops. Um, people need to be held accountable. Congressman Jason Chavez chairs the committee investigating the water crisis. Tomorrow, he will be face to face with Governor Snyder and former emergency manager Darnell Early, who originally refused to come despite subpoenas. This is not an optional exercise. If you want to plead the fifth, you can do that. But we're going to get answers. But Chavez also admits their jurisdiction is limited to the EPA. And what just boggles my mind, which I don't understand, and which is just intolerable is the idea that they knew about this almost a year ago and didn't do anything, didn't let anybody know. However, another member of the committee, Congressman Tim Wahlberg, also says they are able to, quote, get conclusions. Uh, we've seen a significant impact of individuals across the spectrum in our government regulatory agencies, bureaucratic agencies who have resigned or other ways have been taken out of office if we found the problem. Top of this federal investigation, of course, you have the local and state ones. And during this tour, another representative, Representative Dan Kildee of Flint, told me he thinks it is unimaginable and unconscionable that somebody would not be, felled or be found held criminally, li criminally liable for what's happened in Flint, especially to the children. We're live this morning. Nick Monticelli, Local 4 News Today. Nick, certainly a lot of developments to follow, and local forward defenders Kevin Dietz will be in Washington, D.C., doing just that. He is going to be there all week for the hearings. His live coverage from our nation's capital kicks off this evening at 11.